Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Grim here, back at it again with another exciting episode of my Hardcore 2 Max series. As you guys can tell, I've been in the cow fields for a little bit now. Just wanted to show you guys a quick update here. I did manage to get 36 combat solely from killing cows, which is kind of slower and not necessarily efficient, but I'm not necessarily going for efficiency. I just want some skills and I also want to get crafting up. So that's what I did. I stayed here a little longer than expected, but hey, it is what it is. I did get some crafting banked. With that being said, everybody, I got base 30s on my melee stats, which is pretty awesome. And I got 31 HP. Now with that being said, I think it is time to go back and do a little, little bit of questing because I want to actually do Vampire Slayer. With that being said, the recommendation is level 20 and I am at level 36, so I should have no problem with that quest. So let's go ahead and get her done. All right, it is time to fight the Dracula. All right, and the coffin is opening. Count Draenor is coming out. Let's get this done. I should have no problem killing him as my stats are kind of OP <laughs> for this quest. I did bring extra food just in case because you never know when you're hardcore. You just want to be better safe than sorry. Just a uh, rule to follow as you progress your hardcore. And there we go. Three quest points added to the quest log. We got 4,825 attack XP, which is very nice. Gave us additional th extra three attack levels. And now we have 10 quest points. Let's rocking go. And that being said, I'm probably going to go ahead and do X marks the spot next. And there it is. X marks the spot is not out with giving us one quest point as always. 200 coins, which is kind of nice for early game Iron Man. I highly suggest you guys do this if you guys are starting out. Also, we get a beginner clue, which I'm probably going to go do right now. And let's go ahead. And turn in our XP lamp. I was going to say, wait a minute, where did my clue scroll go? And then I forgot, oh, I have a clue scroll already banked, so that's why I did not get one this time around. But before I go do my clue scroll, I think I am going to knock out Witch's Potion next. Alright, I got the rat sale. Now it's time to turn in all the requirements to Hetty. And let's get that nice juicy magic xp that is really nice for early game and there we go quest completion which is potion you are rewarded one quest point and 325 magic xp which only gave us one level but we were already level 18 of magic so that's a win in my opinion with that being said i'm going to go ahead and do rune mysteries next and there it is, we made it back to said rider. Let's go ahead and turn this juicy quest in and continue this dialogue here. And there we go. Rune mysteries completed one quest point. Also, we got an air talisman and access to the essence mine as well, which I probably won't ever use in my life because there's better methods nowadays like Guardians of the Rift. But with that being said, I am going to go work on getting my mining to level 10 because I need to go and do the Knight's Sword quest. And there it is, a level 10 mining. So now that I have the requirements for the Knight's Sword, I realized I still need higher bars. So I'm just going to go ahead and go get up to level 15 smithing. That way I can actually 
yeah iron bars so like i don't make the same mistake like i did on my last hardcore is go into lily and get lost and then get pk'd by a random pk -er, and that would be the worst <laughs> idea for my barely new iron man but yeah that's the gameplay right now and there it is 20 mining we are now just like one smithing a level away for level 15 smithing bank. It did take me a little bit longer than I expected, but hey, it is what it is. The account is turning to look like an account, if that makes any sense. But no, I'm super hyped. We are now at 241 total, so not too shabby at all. I think I'm going to do the night sword after this little grind here. Finally, 15 smithing. Oh my rod, that was quite the grind, but we did it. We get now have 20 mining and 15 smithing. Now I can finally do the night sword quest. Let's rocking go. I never thought in a thousand years I would be so happy to make a red berry pie for the rocking knight's sword quest. The nostalgia on this series is actually too good people i know it may not seem like much but hey we are actually progressing and that's what this series is all about progressing on a hardcore iron man but yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited on the account progress so far i'm i know i'm not the most efficient player out there but it's not really about being efficient it's about just having fun and trying not to die all at the same time but let's go knock out the night sword and there it is the night sword complete. We gotta see that juicy experience. 12k <laughs> smithing, not too shabby. Now we are 31. Actually, not in the major play. I know it seems like I'm hyper focusing in on the night sword, but hey, that's not bad. Now we are on 12 points for the quest points in total. With that being said, everyone, it is time to go do Drox quest because it kind of goes along with the night sword because it's mining. Let's go. Okay, not gonna lie. That was a pretty easy quest. I decided to get all the requirements like the ores and so on and so forth. I did that in Lubbridge. Now with that being said, we got what? 1300 money XP, 180 coins, which is pretty nice for the bank because I am still down bad 100 GP. Now we have 23 mining. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now it is time to go to yet another quest. I'm probably gonna be doing Cobbler's Diplomacy. Really fun quest. And yeah, no requirements needed, but it is a free to play quest that we need to do. All right, I just wanna point out this part of Goblin Diplomacy is hilarious because we got the goblins doing a freaking fashion show with their goblin mail. Here we got the goblins just trying <laughs> out their goblin outfit. Kinda hilarious, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish Goblin Diplomacy. And there we go. We have now 20 total quest points 200 crafting XP, a gold bar, and uh, guys, one of the reasons why I wanted to do Goblin's Diplomacy because I do believe it is a Dorgishin crossbow uh, requirement early quest, so I just wanted to knock that out out of the way as well. But yeah, that really does conclude <laughs> episode 2 of the Hardcore series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I do apologize once again that I haven't been uploading frequently as of the video being released i do plan to change that also everybody if you guys are enjoying the streams make sure to smash that sub button also check out the discord and also keep in mind yes i do stream on kick as well so if you guys want to go check out my other socials please do so it's not necessary but would uh, be appreciative with that being said everybody my name is grim and i hope you guys enjoyed this video